Welcome to Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. Today I'm going to start with a dozer set up in Earthworks. When you first turn it on the very first time, it may show up like this where you need to customize the main screen. Let's just go through a couple of the main screen options to customize. For example, at the very bottom right here, you can see that it has cut fill left, center, and right. For a dozer, a lot of times you don't always need that center. So to clean up the very bottom, you simply touch and hold on the bottom text ribbon here. When you go into here, you can add, you can replace or remove specific items. But I want to customize the entire ribbon. You can see at the very bottom there's four white showing here and the rest are grayed out, meaning that there's other options if we swipe to the right. So if we go to the go to text ribbon, we can customize what we see here. Then at the very bottom, there's an edit option. I want to clean this up by removing some of these. So I'm going to hit the edit button. And you can simply just touch and hold or touch these to get rid of or add. So as you go down through here, if you don't want to see design elevation, if you don't want to see offline, I'm going to leave that on there. I don't want to see stationing. I'm going to turn that off. Um, if you don't want to see northing, turn that off. Easting, I'm going to leave elevation. Turn off a couple more of these. Satellite count. Um, a couple I may turn on for the dozer if I am going to do any 2D, 2D work or just want to verify that I'm cutting the right side slope. I'm going to turn on blade slope. So once I've done that, I can hit apply. And then I can move these where I need to. You can see the six buttons right here. You can touch and hold with your fingers and actually move them where you need to be. To align them so I'm going to leave cut fill left on that one side and I'll move these two up so as soon as you hit apply right here you can see the bottom the bottom cup ribbon so far only has the four and there's a fifth one hiding to the side so you can use your finger and touch and hold and drag to the side to see whatever you want the other thing I wanted to show you is on the left and the right side right here we've got the cut fill uh, light bars you uh, have the number at the bottom for the cut fill, so if we turn the autos on, you can see it runs down. Um, if we raise up and down, those light bars do the same as what the numbers are on the bottom there. But you can customize these light bars by going into the menu, the, sh the gear with the tablet or phone. Inside here, as you scroll down, there is a light bar option right here. If you touch that, <clears throat> you can turn on and off what you do and don't want to see. If you don't want light bars at all, but you want to actually just have the center one on for horizontal offsets, you can do that. When you're done, just hit done. Now you can see that it changes the screen up quite a bit. The other one I wanted to show you is to swipe to see different views on the main screen right here. Currently right now we have this one in 3D. If you take your finger and just touch and hold, you can roll the model around. You can take your two fingers and pinch in to see closer or to see further out. If you do come in and you want to just auto go back out to a certain point, there's this icon on the top right of the screen. If you touch that, it resumes back out to where it started. This tab right here looks like a circle with an arrow. Makes it to where right now all I can do is just roll the model with my finger and kind of look around in the one spot that it's at. But let's say I want to go and look up here to the right or the left in a different spot. I can touch this button and it will allow me to take my finger and drag across the screen to go to different spots on the model. So I could go all the way over here to the other corner. And then I could touch that button again and roll again to look at what's going on in this corner of the project. If I needed to move a little bit to the side, I would touch that one again and change it to kind of looks like a plus with the arrows. That allows me to move side to side and then touch that one again and roll it. And then this one auto recenters back where the machine's at. Each one of these screens, you can pinch and hold or move them around to zoom in and out and also recenter on each one of those. If you do want to change the main screen here to change to two different views, one that has two and one that has a single, you would take your two fingers and swipe to the side. Since I'm using the emulator, I'm going to go into the gear here. 
and I'm going to go down to <clears throat> layout. As soon as I go into layout, I can do this from the menu. I can change the layout here to a one view, and then I can pick what's in there. I can pick between all the different options, and this is one way to do it. I can hit apply. You can see that I'm now just one big screen right here. The other way to change what's individually in each one of these screens is to just touch and hold on the main screen, and you can change the view. So here I can quickly change between cut fill, profile, plan, and cross section. So I can put that on plan at that point. If you go back up to the gear here, you can go back to layout. And here we can change it to two view. At this point, we can change it here if we want or the main screen. There again, you can customize what you see by touching and holding in each one of these screens. So if I'd like to see three-dimensional on this one and cross-section so that I can see what happens when I get up to the side of the slope right here or wherever I'm at, I can just simply customize in between these two. This one's personally my favorite because I can see what the surface is doing underneath me, and I can also still roll it in 3D and, and see what's going on around me. I'm going to turn that top light bar back off so that the screen is a little bit bigger. Go ahead and turn that off. And then hit done. So that's a main overview and you can see where you've got manual down on the bottom left. That'll be for when we turn the autos on and manual for tilt. So this is showing that I'm going to turn mount, when I turn autos on, which I'll do right now, <clears throat> I can see that it gives me up and down value and side to side value and I have zero and zero for left and right. One more thing I wanted to show you on the main screen here for this video is the ability to change what you see around the dozer right here. For example, this green crosshair line and the red dotted line around it, which is the perimeter of the machine. Um, the green crosshairs change as you change your red carrot to the right here. The red dot, as it goes left and right, you can see that that changes with it's to help you understand kind of an alignment off of the blade here and the alignment straight in line with the blade not as much the body some of some like that some don't the other thing is is this red boundary around here also comes into play if we're going to run avoidance zones but it still understands where that's at even if we turn the visual off so up here at the top right there's this uh icon that's called the layers manager layers options if you will kind of we nicknamed it the stack of papers if you touch and hold on that it'll take you into a menu where you can turn on and off a lot of the things that you see on the main screen here for example the vertical guide and point which is that red carrot and the green you can turn those on and off you can also come in here and turn off the green crosshairs that we saw there you can also turn off the machine boundary if you'd like in another video, we'll go through more of what's in here. Once you hit apply and come out, you can see that it's cleaned it up a little bit. You don't have the green crosshairs. Those would be helpful if you're trying to line up with curb lines, specific things um, that are further away from you. But sometimes those green crosshairs get a little confusing for um, other colored lines on the job site. For example, this green that we have over here. If you'd like them on and off, you can just turn them on and off in the layers option. So this is a video for the main screen options.